Hey guys, so I'm here at um, the Clinique Boutique and I'm gonna get my skin assessed today so that they can kind of figure out the exact problems or good things or bad things about my skin and um, kind of give me the right products and regimen for it. So they're going to educate me today. I'm gonna share with you my experience and hopefully be able to share with you some of the skin secrets. Okay, hi. Hi, Sylvia, how are you? <laughs> I'm Welcome good, to Clinique. Thank you. Here at uh, the Bay Queen Street. Um, what I'm gonna show you now is something that's a little bit unique to Clinique, mm -hmm. and it's what's called our skin diagnostic tool. Fancy. So, this is, as you can see, an iPad. <laughs> and I want you to kind of play along with me. And this is really a tool that is like unbiased. I feel like my skin is very unpredictable. Okay. Um, some days it's really great. I don't even wear face makeup and it's, it's great. And then other days, all of a sudden, I break out on my forehead. <laughs> or like I'll break out, I feel like I break out on my forehead a lot. Okay. And um, my general cheek section over here. Um, I don't suffer with a lot of pimples on the outside or anything like that. It's okay. mostly like bumps under my skin. Okay. In your case, I think daily care would be something that we're looking at. So we'll go ahead. Maybe and, this one as well. And then dark spots. Are your areas of discoloration red? red. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is the redness sort of? I think it's occasional. Okay. Because I feel like some days I'm like really. Like I'm good. not noticing it now, okay. so I'm assuming it could okay. be on the occasional. <laughs> so in terms of skin tone without a suntan, um, really, really light. <laughs> like so, I would say probably kind of go. Let's let's go like here, like moderately fair. Okay. I'm okay. Pretty pale. <laughs> and then your suburban, urban living. I live at downtown. So, so you're urban living that urban pollution <laughs> and then your stress level oh my god so high is it yeah. <laughs> oh. based on the questions that we answered this is the recap of your skin okay okay got it looks good and then now it's going to show you the product recommendations oh cool so it'll line up all the products do you guys say that like you can do this when like people come with makeup on as well yeah i mean 95 percent of the time people do come with makeup what i'm gonna do is use that um sonic brush okay sort of the forehead I like that green thing to yeah. get into like the crevices because the one that I currently had, um, it's round so you can't really get into yeah. all the crevices of your... And that's the good part about this one here that I found. It's funny because like I come to makeup counters and I usually get makeup done and uh -huh. to get it taken off is like a really <laughs> weird sensation right now. Do you see the redness now? Okay. Yeah. So this is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. It's a pretty cool feeling. It's like watery yeah. like lotion. Remember how you were saying you have those bumps? I do mm. notice I could feel a little bit of yeah. it. So I think what that is is just clogged pores. Okay. So we have a great little luxurious ritual that we do when we put this product on. Okay. So we want to do just sort of like a mini sort of facial massage. Do you believe that, because um, I know a lot of people do like daily face ma facial massages to like uh, I don't know, like get their skin tightened and whatnot. Do you believe that those things work? I do. I mean, the microcirculation helps to get the blood flow, um, and and then you know, move, manipulating in the right way will help. Serum, my favorite. And then we'll so go with the sunscreen with moisturizer. So this one helps, as I said, to repair uh, any sort of damaged cells, discoloration within the skin. My skin's feeling very hydrated. <laughs> I'm not a foundation wearer, okay. but like I'm willing to try, but okay. I just don't want something like too, too heavy. I like, I like light really, really light texture. texture. Yeah. I mean, so generally when we do the foundation, we want to sort of start at the area that needs the most amount of coverage, the center panel yeah. and the T-zone. Yeah. So that's usually where I start the, the foundation. So I'm going to work in a downward motion. Because there's tiny little hairs, you might not see them on the face, but when you stroke it the wrong way, you suddenly see them. Okay. So your skin, you do have really nice skin. Oh, um, thank you. It's very smooth, texturally. I it's try. It's really nice. Yeah, it gets rid of the redness, like. Yeah. So that's the foundation. I like it. Think? Yeah, it looks really, really natural. And then you can put some concealer. Uh, what do you guys think it looks like right now? Some luminescence around the eye. So you don't want to stretch the skin in this area too much. Um, these are, this is the first area that shows the signs of aging first. Mm -hmm. I think for a long time I was taking off my makeup like in the wrong way where I would stretch the bottom yeah. of it and I could see like that it was bad. Yeah. But I stopped doing that and was able to like more of a padding motion and whatnot. Right. So I think it, it has gotten better. I think. And I mean, you know how people when they put on mask eyeliner mm -hmm. is they pull the skin right, like this? Right. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. You, I mean, when you're doing it, you don't think that no, it's going to happen, exactly. right? 
but after a while you look at it and you're like wow yeah, like that actually constant yeah made tugging at it the yeah. same way after years yeah you can even see like when i go like this you can see that like my lines are pulled out this way from the makeup that i was pulling so that's just proof to you guys <laughs> that you think the little motions don't matter, but they do. <laughs> Mascara blush. I know you're a big fan of chubby, so I'm not sure if you ever tried the chubby I've cheek. I've never tried okay, that, so no. Chubby cheek is like one of the best things. It's sort of a take on your grandma's, you know, lipstick. Clinique's makeup is all about pretty easy. Yeah. Okay? All we need to do, and you might get a little worried at first, but then we'll fix it. Oh, oh so God. So let's go like this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Looking a little scary right yes. now, but don't worry. All right. So what we do is we pat and press. Oh, it blends really nice. It does really, really well. It's nice and natural looking. It's different from like going to a makeup makeup counter and they like really, really do you up. Whereas like this is great for a natural everyday kind of look. Everyday, right? yeah. Do you guys like it? Take a look. You guys can get this done as well um, at the counter. You said they can come with makeup on. Absolutely. And you guys Absolutely. do the whole process. So this end my time at the clinic counter going through the skin assessment and everything. Um, and you guys get this whole process done as well. And kind of like just step away from work for a couple, for half an hour, just to get refreshed and get done up. Bye. Thank you for all your You're help. You're very welcome. Come and see us. <laughs>